the comparison of total spinal anesthesia in pediatrics versus adults. This is important to compare for this complication because the presentation, especially in the early stages, are different. In adults, in the early stages, you have an inability to feel your chest wall movement, leading to a feeling of dyspnea. You also have pharyngeal and laryngeal muscle weakness, so you can have difficulty speaking and swallowing. You can have hypotension with a tachycardic reflex, and then once your T1 to T4 cardiac accelerator fibers are affected, you can have bradycardia. Once you have brainstem involvement and cerebral hyperperfusion, you can have respiratory depression and loss of consciousness. In neonates, on the other hand, your first symptom is respiratory depression, leading to decrease in O2 sat and apnea. The sympathetic blockade that you saw in the adults here isn't as common in kids, especially kids under five to eight years old. This is because they have an immaturity of their sympathetic nervous system and they have a predominant parasympathetic tone. So kids can have a blockade all the way up to T3 with very few hemodynamic consequences. They have no tachycardia. They occasionally have bradycardia secondary to respiratory depression and hypoxia, but again, that's not because of a sympathetic blockade like in adults. Kids can have hypotension very rarely. Um, this is largely because they have less venous pooling, a small relative blood volume in their lower extremities. The treatment in kids is supportive with intubation for controlled ventilation until the kids are spontaneously ventilating again.